a brazen and violent assault. Paul Pelosi, the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, brutalized in their San Francisco home. Police say this attack happened overnight after a man broke in. The Speaker was here in Washington. Her 82-year-old husband is now in the hospital, expected, the Speaker's office says, to make a full recovery. A police briefing is scheduled for later this hour. We will go there live when it happens. At this moment, we're still trying to fill in the big question. What was the motive here? The male suspect is in custody. The FBI still at the Pelosi home in San Francisco. Sources telling CNN that assailant used a hammer, used a hammer to beat Mr. Pelosi. CNN's Jamie Gangel has been talking to sources and joins us now with some important breaking news. Jamie, what can you tell us? John, it appears we may actually have uh, the motive or at least part of the motive. I've just been told by a source who was briefed on the attack uh, that the assailant who attacked Paul Pelosi was actually in search for the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, that before the assault occurred, in other words, before he attacked Pelosi, the intruder confronted the speaker's husband in their home and was shouting, quote, where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? So, John, again, this is from a source who was briefed on the attack who says before he physically assaulted uh, the speaker's husband, he was clearly looking for Pelosi herself, quote, where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? John. Jamie Gangel joining us with that breaking news. Jamie, stand by. I want to bring in our senior justice correspondent, Evan Perez. Uh, Evan, you've been tracking what police are learning. What more can you tell us about this investigation and about this just brazen violent assault? Well, John, uh, we know now that the FBI is still at the scene there at the Pelosi home in San Francisco. Of course, this happened in the early morning hours. If, if the speaker had been there, there would have been a, a, a security detail from the U.S. Capitol Police they were not there because she is uh, she is not she was not at home uh they got there very quickly and now we're told that this is an investigation being done jointly by the fbi with the capitol police and the san francisco police department and of course the the big question uh, that i think jamie is beginning to help answer is you know why the the, the fbi would be involved and and this perhaps might explain it if uh, the assailant was trying to uh, carry out this attack in search of the speaker. If there was some kind of political no motivation, perhaps those would be the reasons why the FBI would be playing a, a big role in this investigation. Again, we're expecting to hear a lot more from the police uh, at this briefing in uh, later this hour, but it does begin to sort of help uh, answer the questions. They know who carried out this attack. They're doing their investigation. Uh, and they're getting a sense of, of what brought him, this person, to the, uh, the, the, the home. They, they, it is a, a male person who was, uh, was arrested there or detained by the police. Again, there's still a lot of questions um, as to how he got into the house. They, it, it appears that he came in through the back of the residence uh, and then carried out this attack. Um, there are a lot of very important questions still as to what brought him to that location, John. Evan, stand by as well. I want to circle back to Jamie Gangel. Uh, Jamie, Evan makes a key point there that had the speaker been home in San Francisco, there would have been a Capitol Police security detail there uh, because that's routine for the Speaker of the House of Representatives. It also makes a key point that the FBI being on the scene uh, signals that this is not just a San Francisco police investigation. Uh, for people who might not have been with us at the top of the hour, and so you can provide any additional details, I just want to circle back. Uh, you say you have been briefed, on, uh, briefed by somebody who is familiar with the early stage of this investigation. Share more. So, John, you know, we have all been concerned about violence and threats related to politics. We don't know yet what the complete motive is here, but I've just been told from a source who was briefed on the attack that the assailant who attacked Paul Pelosi, the Speaker's husband, was in search for the Speaker of the House that before the assault occurred, before he physically started attacking Paul Pelosi, that he came into the home shouting, quote, where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? So there does seem to be some indication that, uh, you know, whether this was politically motivated, you know, and what the politics might have been, those are still questions to be answered, but it does 
certainly sound like he was looking for the Speaker of the House. Thanks. John. Jamie Gangel, uh, thank you for the breaking news reporting. So, Evan Paris, to come back to you, to your point you just made, let's elaborate a bit to make clear. Uh, federal involvement, obviously, this is a very different investigation, a very different right. focus. If you're talking about a break-in on a high-profile home, uh, whether it was aimed at Paul Pelosi, or whether it was just a random break-in, versus if, if the FBI is getting clues to back up Jamie's reporting that this was a targeted attack on the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Right, exactly, John. I mean, the, the fact that we see the FBI, they're still there, by the way, uh, tells us that they're going to play a big role in this investigation. And they don't normally do this on just uh, an assault uh, on a random home, or even if it's, you know, uh, so, you know, some random attack. There has to be some evidence that they've, uh, they've gotten from the early parts of this investigation that indicates they have some kind of jurisdiction, some federal nexus here. And of course, as Jamie just raised, I think, uh, you know, there's been a lot of com concern by the FBI, by the Justice Department, about some of the threats uh, to political figures in this country. Uh, of course, you know, we've seen uh, an attempted assassination of a Supreme Court justice uh, in the last few months. Uh, we've seen uh, concerns from the Justice Department about threats to public officials at school boards and so on. So there's been this sort of atmosphere that the FBI has been very, very much concerned uh, about the tone of some of the rhetoric that is driving some of this. And, and so, again, that's sort of what the backdrop of why the FBI is there, why they're, they're there very quickly, and why they're now playing a major role in this investigation. We're going to learn more, of course, from police when they uh, give this briefing. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, you know, the Speaker of the House, you know, she travels with a, uh, with a security detail. The Capitol Police got there very quickly because they are present in San Francisco just for when she travels to that location. So, uh, you know, it is one of those things that uh, the threat, the threats against public officials is rising and it is something a big concern for the FBI. Evan Perez, grateful as well. Come back as we get any additional information. Let's continue the coverage. The White House says President Biden called Speaker Pelosi this morning to share his outrage at the attack and to voice his support now as her husband is hospitalized. Again, the Speaker's office believes he will make a complete recovery. Our Chief Congressional Correspondent, Mano Raju, excuse me, is here with me in studio uh, for more on what we know and the stunned reaction here in Washington. Yeah, I mean, we know we're learning a little bit more uh, piece by piece through the course of this morning. We do know that this individual, when he uh, broke into the Pelosi home, it happened in the middle of the night, 2.27 a.m., according to the San Francisco police came in through the back door of the house and had a uh, hammer in his hand going into the Pelosi house, attacked uh, Mr. Pelosi with a hammer. Mr. Pelosi was taken to a hospital. According to the Speaker's office, Mr. Pelosi, and they said, is, quote, expected to make a full recovery and is receiving excellent medical care. So we'll learn more about that. But the it's so key to point out about the security detail and the security situation itself because she travels with U.S. Capitol Police, but it does not extend to the family members themselves. And we have seen through the course of this last couple of years all this political violence directed towards members of Congress who have had to boost their own security. They do not, they're not provided right. security as well, but they are allowed to spend federal dollars to enhance their security. And that is a new development because of the rise of threats now that we're seeing also against family members themselves.